All right, y'all, you asked me for a glute workout and I got you. I got hips. You are going to be so sore. This is bringing me to my absolute edge of what I can do. I'm going to add some bala bangles right here. They're about two pounds. Ooh, you do not need to use these. It's going to be hard enough, but if you got them at home, then get them on. Let's get started. Okay, we are ready for my favorite hip series ever of all times. Okay, now, I just want you to hold on tight. There's a lot of changes. They go by really kind of fast in there. Um, we do need our bar. Holding onto the bar is gonna help a little bit. Let's go into a parallel position, please. You're gonna bring one leg out towards the side. The standing leg could be a little bit bent or all the way stretch. That is just depending on how you feel in your standing leg. All right, wait for this music to start. All right, little pulse to the side, pulse and pulse. Small movement, we're starting at the side of the hip. Small little circles with this leg, circle around. Check in with that posture. Circle other way. Lift and hold. Lift, hold. Lift, hold. So it's a small little dynamic lift to the side. You're still in that parallel position. Four, three, two, and a one. Great. Now you're going to lean forward onto your bar or onto your wall, your table. Bring your same leg a little bit front so your booty is back. We go lift and lower. Lift, lower. So we're still targeting the side of your booty, your booty, your glutes, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, your popos. Stay right there. Little pulse, pulse. Pulse. Now again, your standing leg could be stretched or a little bit bent. Start those little circles now. Circle, two, three. I know, it's so hard. I'm telling you, I'm suffering as well. Circle the other way. Circle around. Two, three. Seven and eight. Bring it down. Give it a little shake out. All right, turn into your bar now. You're gonna stretch your leg long behind you. It's parallel, it's lift and lower and lift and lower. So your shoulders are down. You are on a stable surface, please. Stable is important. The leg doesn't need to be high right there. We're concentrating on the glute burn. Four, three. We're gonna stay up there, small little pulses, please. Pulse, pulse. Your knee is stretched still. Lightly engage your belly muscles like you're doing a plank. Here's four, three. Get ready for the change. Bend and stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. So we're still working the same leg. We got a lot of changes, that poor working leg and the standing, both legs are working like crazy, my friends. Stay with the bent leg. Pulse up, pulse, pulse. Now that leg is bent, it's reaching up to the sky. There we go. Eight, two. Now we're gonna hide it behind the other one and lift it, it's over cross. Cross and lift, cross and lift. Now my bending leg, I'm, or my supporting leg, I'm giving a little bend and stretch here. Bend and stretch. The leg that's in the air is hiding, it's lifting, it's hiding and lifting. Four more, four, three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. But, oh my gosh, I know, I feel it too. We're on the all fours position. <laughs> Long arms, it's the same leg. Lift, lift, lower, lift lower. Now I'd like you to sort of balance yourself between your hands and that standing leg, the one that's on the floor. There we go. Little pulses at the top. Pulse, pulse. 
Think about a long back of neck. Press the ground away from you with the arms. Eight. Stretch your knee for now. Point your foot if you can. Bend and stretch. Here we go. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. That's so nice. Four, three, two. Now we're going to keep it in that bent, please. Little pulse right there. Reach up and up and up. Like I promised, I'm going to bring you right to the edge of what you think you can do. We're going to surpass it today, though. Eight, two. Remember that hiding and lifting? Let's do it now. We hide it, we lift it, we hide it, we lift it. I want you to check in with your long back. Check in with that light attention to the center of your body so you're not hanging out there. Just the leg moving. Four, do you go please? Four, three, two. We're almost there, friends. One, bring your forearms down. Ooh. Stretch that leg one more time. This time it's rotated out to the side. It's turned out. We lift it now. It's lifting, lowering, lifting, lowering. So the kneecap is looking to the side. If you flexed your foot, it would be your toes that look to the side. Four to go right here. Four, three, two. We're going to keep it up there. Small little pulses, pulse it up. Two, three. We bend it and stretch it. Bend and stretch as if the toes can touch your opposite shoulder. Opposite and reach, opposite and reach. Your thigh is trying to stay up and rotated to the side. We call that turned out in ballet. Four, and in our bar. Three, one more change coming up. Two, keep that leg bent, knee stays up, little pulse it, pulse, pulse, pulse. You're almost there, friends. Here's the eight, eight, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, okay, sit it back down into your child's pose. You've done it. That was so tough. <sighs> Another big breath right here. We're going to give ourselves a little glute stretch before we go on. We're sitting in a figure four stretch, taking one ankle across. You can also do this one lying on your back. That's a wonderful place to stretch as well. You are bringing your leg as close to you as the stretch feels nice. Four, three. Let's get that other leg stretching. Take your ankle across and start to pull it in. Now, as we're mentally preparing to go to the other side, you know it's coming, right? It's only a few minutes long. It might feel pretty brutal because you've worked both sides of the hips because that standing leg was working like crazy. I know you could do it though. We're gonna start parallel leg. Leg is out to the side, standing leg maybe lightly bent. We lift and lift. So we're going right for glute mids and meads right on the side of the hip at first. Then you felt it, we're gonna go a little bit further back. Four, check in your posture. Two, now we circle, circle, small, small. Keeping the hips relatively still, I want you to isolate that circle with your leg. Circle other way, circle, circle. Four, three, lift and hold, lift, hold, lift, hold. Finding that dynamic, oh, place to the top. Four do you go, here's four. Three. And one, give it a little shimmy shake. Then you're gonna lean down over the bar, support your way, bring your leg a little bit front and turned in. We lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Good. 
I always say, when you're working at home, make sure the thing you're leaning on is stable, <laughs> right? No rolling chairs. <laughs> Four, three, two. We're going to stay there. Little pulses. It's a pulse. Pulse. Four, three. We wanted to circle. Circle. Two, three. My leg is shaking also. Circle other way. Go round. Two, three. Little higher, friends. Two and one. Bring it down. Give yourself a little shimmy shake. All right. Glutes, turn it into the bar. Parallel. We lift it. It's lift it and lower and lift and lower. I hope this angle is helpful that you see the leg is right behind me. Trying to keep the center active. Here's the four. Soft shoulders, three. Keep your leg up there. Pulse it, please. Pulse, pulse. As if you can stretch your leg even further right into the screen. Bend and stretch. We go bending, lengthening, bend, lengthen. Square your hips again. Four to go, four. Dig deep, friends. You're gonna keep the leg bent. Little pulse it, lift it. Pulse, pulse. Check in. How does that feel? Take a breath. We hide it, we lift it. Hide it and lift it. Hide it and lift it. Cross and up. Cross and up. Down and up. Down and up. Four more. Four. Reach. A three. Lift up. Two. And a one. All right, folks. We are down. All fours position. Fast and furious, just like I promised. Long leg is lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. So I have my arms long here, but you could also, of course, go down to the forearms. You could go on to the fifths. We're gonna stay up there. Small little pulses, pulse it up, up. For now, the knee is long. Try to balance your weight between your arms. Here's the eight, two. Bend and stretch, bend and stretch, bend and stretch, nice. Four, long back friends, three. Engage your belly muscles like you're doing the plank. Stay in that bend, little pulse, lift, pulse, pulse. Cross it and lift it, over cross it and lift it and cross and lift. All right, so the only thing that's moving is your leg, it's not through your back. Four, three, and a one, all right. Last one in this position. Forearms are down if they're not already. Stretch your leg long, turn it out to the side. We lift it, lift, lower, lift, lower. Don't kick anyone or anything behind you. <laughs> it happens, I've done it. Check in with those shoulders. Good, we're gonna stay right there. We pulse it, pulse, pulse. Dig deep, here's the eight. Here we go. Eight, two, and then two more changes coming up. Four, three, we bend and stretch. Bend, stretch. Taking that foot towards your opposite shoulder, keeping your thigh high. Press the ground away from you with the forearms. Two, stay bent right here. We lift it, we pulse it, we pulse it. Keep going, lift, lift. Here's four and three, and you're done. Sit back down, relax. Ah. 
All right, make your way back into your seated position, taking a ankle across. Enjoy the stretch. Hopefully enjoy it. Take your other ankle across. Nicely done. We're going into inner thigh work. Yay! I'm going to lie to my side. My head is supported the way that it makes me feel comfortable along with the microphone and my glasses. Please just choose the one that makes you feel the best right there. My top leg, this is my prosthetic hip, so I always keep <laughs> my foot behind it, but there are some of you that will like it in the front. It just doesn't feel so good on that fake hip for me. Choose the one that feels nice to you. The bottom leg is stretched out, it's lift and lower. So we're working on inner thighs now. We did so much for our glutes. That glute burn was incredible, I have to say. I was at my edge. Here's four. Now it's inner thighs. Two. And one. We're gonna stay right there. A little bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. It's a very small movement through the knee. Bend, stretch the knee. Bend, stretch. And two. And three. We're gonna do those dynamic lift and holds. Lift, hold. Lift, hold. And uh, three, and four. Four do go, please. Here's four, three, two. All right. We're going to turn it so now your heel is a little bit more up towards the sky. So that rotation is happening inside your hip socket. Then it's lift and lower and lift and lower. Okay. It might not be a big movement here. That is fine. I'm sure you're feeling it. If not, let me know. <laughs> and three. We're gonna stay there, little pulses. Pulse, pulse. Your knee is long for now. Now it's bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch. Eight, two. Three, seven, and eight. Okay, that side is done. Is it done? It's cooked, I think so. Turn around to face the other way so you can roll away from me if you want, or all the way up and over to the other side. We're parallel to lift it. We go lift, lower, lift, lower. Right now, the knee is long, the foot could be pointed or flexed, whatever makes you happy. Four do you go for four. We stayed there, bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch, bend stretch. It's a small little movement. The leg stays high, it's still in the parallel. Emphasize the stretching, stretch, stretch. Good, lift hold, lift hold, lift hold, and three. Four do you go, four, three, two, and one. Now I'd like you to turn it out even more if possible. So now we lift it here, lift it, and up. And when I say turned out now, I want you to feel like your heel can come up to the sky. Two, stay up there. We did pulses on this side. Pulse, pulse. We ended with bend stretches, bend stretch, bend stretch. Q 
here's the eight. Eight, two, three. Seven and eight. Oh, oh, buddy. We are down, lying on your back. Bring your feet back onto the floor. Your feet are about hip distance apart. We're going to finish off this series with some bridging. We're going to go with a long back to lift. Lift up and down. Almost touch in between. Lift and lower. Lift. Lower. I want you to be focusing on a long back and really squeezing your glutes at the very top of it to get that extra little millimeter. Focusing on the hip work more than the back work right there. Let's lift our hips now and we stay. We pulse it, pulse and pulse. So you are at your maximum of where you're feeling the glute work. That glute burn right there. See if you can feel all of your toes on the ground here. Eight, two, go. Eight, two. We do have a couple more changes, though. Four, three. We're going to squeeze the right glute and then the left. Right, left. Squeeze right. Squeeze left. Right and left. So your hips are doing a little dance right there. Your hips are high. Squeeze and squeeze. Here's the eight for eight. Two, three, seven, and eight. Bring your hips down to the floor. Two more little changes. I'd like you to close your legs completely if possible. I'd like you to lift your hips up to your maximum. Doesn't need to be high, just your max. Keep your legs squeezing in. Now it's pulse, it's lift, lift, lift. Small movement, keeping the thighs squeezed in. Remember, if something doesn't feel good, maybe it's your knees, maybe it's your low back, find the position that does feel good for you. Experiment. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hips down. Last change, I'd like you to open your legs wider, about mat distance apart. Your thighs are now looking a little bit out towards the side. Lift your hips all the way to the max. Lengthen your low spine. Now we pulse it here. Pulse, pulse. Now if you're feeling fine here and your calves are not cramping for whatever reason, then lift your heels. So your heels are lifted. The thighs are wide here because you're in an open position. This is where we stay. And it is the last change of this glute burn bar workout. Here's the last eight, eight, seven, two and one. Bring everything down. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll your way up. Let's move into a pigeon pose if that's what works well for your body. I have my heel tucked into me. I'm going to go down on my forearms. That feels nice to me, but it might feel nicer, a little bit higher. Another option would be that seated glute stretch that we had before. Y'all, I'm so proud of you. That was tough. If you would like to intensify this stretch, tuck your toes of the back leg underneath and stretch your leg. Soften that knee back down to the floor. I'd like you to push yourself up to a seated position. The same long leg stays out, but it opens to the side. Rotate it so your toes look up to the sky. Reach up and over.
Nice. Come all the way back up. That same long leg comes in front. Fold over that long leg. Come back up to seated. The leg that is now bent stands on the floor. We do a twist into your standing leg. Turn to face me. This leg that is bent is the one that's going behind you. We're doing now a pigeon on the other side. Someone recently asked me, why is this called pigeon? I don't know. I've never seen a pigeon do this ever in my life, but. You might want to intensify that stretch by taking your toes down, stretching your knee to get a little bit more of a hip intensity. Soften your knee down. Come up to seated. The long leg stays long, but you're opening it out towards the side. We're going to reach up and over your long leg. Coming back up to seated, take your long leg, reach it in front, fold over. Come back up to seated, the bent leg is going to stand onto the floor. Twist to your knee, getting the back stretch. Find your comfortable seated position. Take a couple of shoulder rolls for yourself. Raise your arms up above your head, big breath. Lower them down. Two more. Congratulations, that was really tough today. You did awesome. I hope that you guys had fun with me today. Um, that was at my edge of what I could do for today. I hope that you found your edge of what you can do. Thank you so much for your hard work. If you want the next one, I want you to go right here. Like and subscribe down here. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments. It really means so much to hear from you. Bye, you guys.